How are you? I'm fine. I'm excited. I'm, I'm anxious. <laughs> Tell us who you are. My name is Robert Finley. Where are you from, Robert? I'm from Winsboro, Louisiana. How old are you? I'm 65 years old. 65 young. <laughs> and I take it you're going to be singing for us. What got you into music? Well, uh, to tell the truth, I was a carpenter all my life, mm -hmm. and uh, I lose my sight due to glaucoma. So uh, music was always a passion of mine. So I'd say I had to lose my physical sight so that I could see my true destiny. Oh. Wow. And uh, what song are you going to be singing for us? I'm going to be singing an original song tonight called Get It While You Can. Amazing. Well, we can't wait to hear you. Let's hear it. He's got a good kind of soul about him. to see us, but I hope you can feel us. I feel it all the way. <laughs> we can tell there's so much passion, and this is a dream. With your talent, you deserve it. You gotta know that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so important for people to listen to this song and live life the way you do. You're a great inspiration and a great talent. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mr. Roberts, when, they, when you said wrap it up in bacon, you had me at hello. Um, <laughs> man, your spirit, your energy out of this world, you combine blues, soul, a touch of country, a bit of rock and roll. I'm going to try to get it while I can. I, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I actually said to Juliana, you know, I, I actually liked you even before you started singing. You've got this great soul about you. And your voice is the, the finest wines are the, are, are, are the ones that stay in storage for a few years and then they become beautiful. And that's how I feel about your voice. You don't have that voice when you're 17, 20 years old, right? <laughs> and when you connect with a song, you know, with a particular lyric, this could go through the roof for you. Thank you so much. Hello. What's your name? My name's Sal Gonzalez. Hi, Sal. Where are you from? Um, I live in Nashville, Tennessee, but I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. And what do you do for a living? I actually work for Wounded Warrior Project. I go around the country and I... Thank you. Thank you. The Wounded Warrior is raising awareness of uh, uh, people who served who got wounded. Yes, so wounded. you volunteered for them? Or? Uh, I was wounded back in 2004. You served? Yes, sir. Well, I was in the Marine Corps. Oh, wow. Uh, I do a good job at hiding it. 
Oh my gosh, what, what happened? I was, uh, I was a machine gunner in Iraq in a little town called Ar Ramadi and I got blown up. Um, I joined the Marine Corps right out of high school. Both my parents are immigrants and this country is great and people need to stand up and fight for it. October 31st, 2004, I was only in Iraq for two months. We passed a little roundabout. As we drove by it, it went boom. All I remember is waking up in the Humvee with smoke all around me, my ears ringing. I honestly don't remember a whole lot of pain, even though my leg was clearly broken in half. I just remember I woke up a week later in Bethesda, Maryland, and I said, when can I get back to my Marines? The doctor, he goes, sir, you're going home. Having music as, as a tool for my recovery, I was able to put down and let go of a lot of pain. It kept me going, it kept me alive. It's life, it is who I am. I'm gonna get more courageous than that. We love the service that you've given this country. We love what you're doing now with Wounded Warrior. Tell me a little bit about what you're gonna do today. You gonna sing a song? Yes, I'm gonna be singing uh, a cover song called Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Shine when she's gone. No sunshine when she's gone. This house just ain't no home anytime she goes away. Well, anytime she goes away. Anytime she goes away. Thank you, folks. Sal. Sal, you are really, really good. You really are. Have you been playing music a long time? How did, tell me about your music. I've been singing since I could speak. All I ever wanted to do was be a musician and be a recording artist and play music and make people happy. And I want to show other warriors that it's possible to follow your dreams and be normal. There are millions of people sitting at home tonight watching you. I just, uh, I'm, I'm truly moved. I know this audience in this room was moved. I know the people in America are moved. Mel? I have to say, you are very, very inspirational. Thank you. You can sing. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You can really sing. I, your, your tone on your voice, your graspiness and raspiness, it was like, mmm. I want to hear some more of that. Heidi? Your singing, I think, is beautiful. You sing with a lot of feelings and a lot of passion. And I love your smile. I thought you were great. Thank you. When someone comes out here, you know, and tells a story like you did, when you were telling your story, I, I got very emotional because a young guy like yourself uh, to sacrifice his leg, to give to his country, uh, how can you not be moved by that? It becomes difficult. So let's vote. Howard. Yes, I would uh, put you through for sure. Heidi. Yes, I want to hear you again. Mel. Yes. You have four yeses. Thank you so much. We have two big passions, serving our country, but the other, singing. Your love, nobody can drag me down. Our audition was totally new for all of us. We had never done anything like this before. What? The only downside was that we got a buzzer from Howie. I'll be totally honest with you, it bored me. We know we have to impress all the judges tonight, especially Howie. We cannot be boring. Our big dream is to serve America, but tonight we're gonna entertain them first. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was aggressive. As he that like, was like, <laughs> he was like, mm. I remember these guys. You did not like them. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Cole. So let me ask you a question. Because I really enjoyed the first audition. But there was part of me that was thinking, was this sort of like a dare? 
Honestly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Because when I remember saying yes to you, there was a kind of look on your face like, oh my God, they've given us a yes. So we've got to do it again. That has been our journey as a group, <laughs> yes. But are you actually serious now about competing in the show and... Oh yes, definitely. I don't want to use the word desperate, but there probably isn't very much we wouldn't do to go to the next round, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't want to know what the song is. I like the surprise, so good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seal? I don't know if people realize how difficult it is to sing together like you do. And I think that that's obviously where your, your military training comes in, because there's a definite discipline that's required, and that really showed through tonight. Thank you. Howie? I wasn't as impressed the first time. This was more fun. It was, there was more character. So it made me smile more. Do I think it's a million dollar act? No, no. But I think you stepped it up from last time. Most important thing for me is who are we gonna remember tomorrow morning? I think we're gonna remember you. And I really applaud you for what you've done. Thank you. See you later. How you doing? Doing good. How are y'all? Very good, man. Good. Good to Looking see you. Looking good. Tell us who you are. Tell us a little about yourself. <laughs> hey, I like that. Get I you gotta a... breathe. It's hard. <laughs> First hey. step to living is breathing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You need another one? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I think I got it. <laughs> All right. My name is Landon Knowlton. I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi. Tupelo. And I am... Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm a sergeant in the Army. I know you want to be nice to us because you want to possibly go to Hollywood. Sure. But can you talk to us as though we're in your... In the unit, in the In company. the unit? All right. Because we're, we're honestly, to... we're just a bunch of punks. Yeah. <laughs> Softies. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Punks. Here we go. So I got to pull out the knife hand. This is what every sergeant has. I'm not even listening to yeah. you, sergeant. Right. Sit up straight, so If you don't give me what you owe me right now, you're going to be doing push-ups all night. Yes, sir. Push-ups? What's a push-up? I've never done a push-up. You need to sit up in the front lean and rest and give me 20 right now. You got 20? I'm going to count them out. Wait, give me one. Give me on, one. Stop. I need to know. <laughs> what is a real push-up? Is it with the knees down? You need to get up, front lean and rest, feet back. Push all the way down. I want that chest touching the ground. Oh. <laughs> come on. Come on. How many? That's 10? one. Two. Three. That ain't no push-up. 
Oh, you see, actually, those are pretty good. Are they I like good? those. Those are good. Miss Perry, you're gonna have to try again. Those aren't. Mm, I'm no. gonna do it with my. Uh, All right, soldiers. Well, I know. How come you're not listening because to me? Because I know the rules. All right, teach. When I get down there, you don't come back up. All right, see, how do you do that? Uh, teach me a proper at ease. At ease. At ease. Yeah, sure. So. Seam your pants. You need to get your thumbs like this. That's right. Put them on the seam of your pants. That's attention right here. How close do you get to our face when you scream at us? Give it to me. Give you it to us. You better be in the position of attention, <laughs> Private Richie. If I see you flinch, look at me, or laugh, you are going to die, son. Yes, sir. Miss Perry? <laughs> Miss Perry, we ain't call nobody Miss Private I'm Perry. I'm going to eat the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so what we're going to do now, at ease. All right, soldiers, here we go. At ease. This is what at ease is. All right. Sweating. Shoulder width apart. That's right. You need to put your hands interlocking thumbs like this. Yeah. Put them behind your back. That's right there. Company, a tense, huh? Miss Perry? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Private <laughs> Perry. The horizon. Dismissed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Very good. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Oh, man. Concentrating is exhausting. I need a snack. You have to, like, drool run. No, that was sweat. <laughs> sweat. Sweat. Okay. 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 Drool. You have to just understand. All right. What are you going to sing for us today? I'm going to sing a song by Need to Breathe called Wash by the Water. Let's do it. It's one of my favorites. Daddy was a preacher. She was his wife. Just trying to make the world a little better, you know. Shine a light. Cause even when the rain falls, or even when the flood starts rising, or even when the storm comes, oh, I am washed by the water. Or even when the earth crumbles under my feet. Good go. job. There you go. Lionel? You know, I just don't know. This thing is in the air. I don't know what's happening. Sounds but feeling you know, good. And, and I think by giving you an opportunity to scare the hell out of us, <laughs> it loosened you up a little bit. Just a little bit. I know there's more in there. I'm Hopefully there's more in there. But uh, I like what you're doing. Thank you. Towards the end of that song, I feel like maybe you were trying to like blow hard or yeah. show off maybe. Sure, sure. I think actually you have such a beautiful, subtle texture that you don't always have to feel like you have to compete in that way. Gotcha. They're totally on the money. You've got a real voice. Yeah. It's not perfect from start to finish, but I think you've got a soul in your voice that's really natural and real. Yeah. And I think people are going to buy into it. You, so, you know all about working hard, being a sergeant. Absolutely. You first got to be talented, and then you got to work really hard, and then hopefully you'll catch a lucky star, and, and that lucky star may be on American Idol. Right on. I'm a yes. I'm a yes. You're going to uh, Hollywood, right sergeant. Yes. Right on. Right on. Thank, thank, thank you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hey, right. it was great to meet you guys. Nice I, knew to this meet you. I was turned on. <laughs> you know you want a submissive man. I don't need another one of you, honey. <laughs> oh, no. What's your name? Um, m m my name is Timothy Ma Michael Poe. Where are you from, Tim? Uh, I'm from San, San Antonio. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Uh, well, I, I spent f 14 years in, in the military, but, but my... My... Uh, <laughs> My career was 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 ended in in, in uh, two two thousand nine. I I had got hit by by a grenade in Afghanistan and and it, it broke broke my back and gave me a brain injury. So, so that's the reason why I stu stutter a little bit. Back in uh, two thousand nine, uh, when I was in Afghanistan, I had volunteered for a team to to go out and and. Uh, clear buildings and and uh, help out with the wounded. There was a guy who came up with a, a rocket propel grenade. I saw it coming down and mm, by the time I turned and, and went to jump on top of my guys, I yelled grenade and, and the blast had hit me. When I was lying there, I thought that 
I was never gonna be able to see my daughter walk down the aisle or, 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 or throw the baseball with my son again or, or be able to, to, to hold them and, and see them. I, I didn't want my life to be over because there's just so much to do, you know, that, that I, I would never be able to do. It's hard to, um, it's hard to think about. I'm just glad that you, you're here, here to share it with me. It ended up uh, causing me to have a, a brain injury, which, you know, ca caused my speech to not work right like it should. Singing is just an amazing feeling. It has helped me get through uh, a, a lot of tough times. If it wasn't for my fiance, Carrie, I would never ever um, be in where I'm at now. <laughs> She's the one who said, you need to go up there. You need to, you just need to let them he hear you. You have to be so lucky that you're even able to walk. I sure, I sure am. I, I'm, I'm just happy to, to, to be here. <laughs> I was like... Sometimes it's late at night I lie awake and watch her sleeping She's lost in peaceful dreams So I turn out the lights Lay there in the dark And the thought crosses my mind if I never wake in the morning Would she ever down the way I feel about her in my heart If tomorrow never comes Would she know how much I love I try in every way to show her every day that she's my only one. If my time on earth were through, she must face this world without me. Is the love I gave her in the past gonna be enough to last? If tomorrow never comes Thank you. I do want to thank you for your service in, in, in hey, Afghanistan. Yes, I, I don't know what to say to a hero like you. <laughs> I but thought you did a good job. It's a yes for me. Yes! And it's a yes for me. Sharon? Yes. And it's a yes from me. That's and we're three yeses. Thank you! Welcome. How are you? We are wonderful. Thank you. What's your names? My name is Master Sergeant Caleb Green, United States Army. <laughs> Retired. And I am Jason Hanna, Sergeant First Class in the U.S. Army. Sergeant Major Crystal Reams, U.S. Army active. And I am Staff Sergeant Retired Ron D. Henry, United States Army. Okay, great. So what's the name of the group? Voices of Service. We're using this platform to show what music can do as music therapy for servicemen and women who are coping with post-traumatic stress, and we just love what we do. Wow. Good. I like that. Good luck. Can ride my 
how you do it. Howie. First of all, I can't thank you enough for your service. I think because you do what you do allows us to do what we do. And the fact that music can be helpful and it is a tool. It's beautiful and important and right and thank you so much for doing it. Thank you, sir. What you guys are doing, the song, your voices, your ability, I can't thank you enough for all of it. Thank you. The arts, music, dance, whatever it is, it's a universal language where we all feel connected. And what you're doing is phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. Thank you. you know what, I have to tell you, your story is amazing, your message is amazing, but what I loved is the vocal arrangement was stunning. It was a version I've never heard before. You've got great voices, you've got great talent. This is what we need right now. Thank you. Howie, yes or no? Yes! Gabrielle? Absolutely. You got three yeses. You haven't got three yeses. You've got 4,000 yeses. My name's Richard Jones. I'm a soldier and I've come from London today to be with you today. And how long have you been in the army for? For five years. I'm part of the Household Cavalry. You enjoy it? I absolutely love it. My name's Richard Jones. I'm 25. I'm originally from Essex, but I now work in Windsor. Today I'll be performing magic and mind reading. I became interested in magic when I was very little. My parents used to take me to magic shows, and it wasn't really what the magicians were doing that interested me. It was more the impact the magic had on the audience. I've been in the army for just over five years now. I'm incredibly proud to be a serving soldier in the British Army, but it means I spend a lot of time away from friends and family. My colleagues at work absolutely love me performing magic. Uh, I'm always doing shows for them. My next dream would be to be a full-time magician on stage. The standard of magic's been very high on Britain's Got Talent, and I hope today that my performance impresses the whole auditorium. I'm going to sit here and watch on the screen. What a cup of tea. I love stuff like this. Now, I have a gift here. This is a gift which is going to be for one of you judges in just a few moments, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I also have two notebooks 
On each of these notebooks, I have different things written. One is for you, Amanda. Right. As I flick through, uh, would you mind reading some of these out for me? Jennifer Aniston, Madonna, Brad Pitt, Tiller Swift, Vin Diesel, Halle Berry, Emma Stone, Tom Hanks. They're all celebrities, 60 celebrities to be precise. If you could hold your hand flat for me, place your other hand directly on top and just hold it there. I also have one for you, David. Oh. This one here is a drinks menu. On every page is a different drink. Please read some out for Fanta, us. Mojito. Vodka, rum, whiskey. I'm right now. I'm just, I'm just... If you could hold your hand flat and place your other hand on top. Now, just with your thumb, lift up, make sure no one sees, and just take a peek of whatever you choose, and then slam it closed for me. And please, could you stand up and just throw them onto the stage, because we no longer need those. Unleash the anger. Perfect. Good throw, David. OK, Amanda, we're going to start with yourself. You're thinking of a celebrity, is that correct? Yes. Thinking of a celebrity? Just stand up for me. What I need you to do is send your thoughts straight directly into my mind. I need you just with your finger, look me directly in the eye and just touch me just on the forehead there. Ooh! You felt that, right? Yes! Thank you so much. Oh now, what goodness. you've just done is Did you've you just directly that? sent your thoughts into my mind. And I'm now going to very creatively find out who you were thinking of. Now, believe it or not, before I became a magician, I spent six years in an origami intensive training center in the heart of Japan. Just thought I could be here with you guys doing this right now. Now, am I right in sense is someone who's very particular about their hair? Yes. And I think it's probably a man. Don't give anything away, but I'm going to just... Right, that's perfect. OK, Amanda, please tell us, this wonderful audience, who are you thinking of? David Beckham. David Beckham. If I open this up, I've made something very, very special for you to keep. We have Mr. still thinking of a drink, is that correct? Correct. Would you mind now revealing to us the drink that you've been thinking of? It's the drink I'm drinking right now. Which is? A cup of tea. A cup of tea? A cup of, a cup of tea. Now, this has been here the whole time. It's been in front of yourself, Simon. Yeah. Inside here, ladies and gentlemen, just as you asked for... Orange soda! a little bit awkward but we can still fix this uh, don't panic could you just reach out your hand just here for me just send me that positive energy oh! what is going on wow i didn't I like it, it. So rude. oh my goodness believe it or not now just filled me with all of your kinetic energy which allows me to act almost like a microwave so the can starts to heat up oh come on if it gets hotter and hotter please feel it what feel the can it's getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, just make sure that is a sealed can. I was do think of one drink you said, breakfast tea, was that right? Correct. If I open this up, ladies and gentlemen, just what you ordered. No way. Tea. Tea in a can. Please taste it. A cup of tea. Please taste it, make sure it really is tea. A delicious cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. How the hell would you do that? I have no idea. Thank you so much. Um, David. And you're a soldier. Can it get any better? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea how you did any of that, and we had the best view in the house. Your superb your presentation is fantastic, funny, engaging. I really, really want to see more of what you can do. Mm. Brilliant. We came so close to magician winning last year. So you have every chance in the world. And it was amazing. You can do things with your mind which makes you special. Because I believe in all that stuff. I actually do believe in magic, by the way. I do. I do. I think first of all, we've got to find out where you're going next, Richard, and we're going to do that now. Right. 
right, David. Richard, that was fantastic. I'm going to say yes. Thank you so much. 100% yes. Incredible. Thank you. It's a yes from me, Richard. Well done. Thank you, Amanda. Richard, you got four yeses. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Where are you from? I'm originally from uh, American Samoa, but I'm stationed in Georgia. Okay, okay. Georgia. Stationed? You mean you're in the military? Yes. Okay. My name is Paul Yeti. I'm 21 years old, and I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army. What do you do? I'm a, I'm a singer. Oh, nice. Singing has always been a big part of my life. It, I grew up singing in a church. And recently, when we were deployed to Afghanistan for nine months, my battle buddies, they, they would ask me to sing something for them to, to take us away for a little bit. So music means a lot to you. It's more than just uh, a talent. This is something that gets you through hard times. When you're out there, it's just being scared of not going home. You, you don't know if you're going to see tomorrow, but you have to be brave for yourself, for your country, for your family, for your friends. And when I was scared, music was there. <sighs> and it feels good to know that my singing and my music can comfort someone else. It means the world to me. Hi. Hello, and what is your name? Uh, my name is Paul Yeti. And w where are you from? I'm originally from American Samoa. Uh, but... And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army station in Savannah, Georgia. It's a wonderful choice. We thank you for your service. Why, why did you choose the military as a life path? Um, I joined straight out of high school, and it was something to serve my country and to give back. I'm active service. We just got back from deployment to Afghanistan for nine months. Oh, wow. Oh, so you've seen action. Wow. Wow. We, we thank you very much for that. And what are you going to do for us tonight? I'm singing... very unassuming and very nervous and very shy and then all of a sudden you started to sing and a sound came out of you that nobody expected it's a yes from me Mel B. a definite yes from me you're amazing Heidi Klum I think you're fabulous it's a yes Howard Stern you did a great job it's a yes can't wait Four to see you yes. again I made it through to the next round mom oh my god you <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to sing you a song that was, is dedicated actually to my late wife. Um, Colin, I think it's extraordinary you've come here. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. sunlight on your face You did your best to make me shine You always walked a step behind I was the one with all the glow In 2009, I deployed to Afghanistan and I saw things that I can't unsee. And um, they'll be with me forever. Sorry. When I came home, I was diagnosed with PTSD. Um, I have triggers, like, you know, if I hear a car backfire, um, I, I used to just hit the deck and go into my stomach, no matter where I was, which looks kind of strange in the middle of Sydney. I've had my challenges. It's a struggle. For me...
I don't want to feel like this anymore. So the song for me represents that. I'm so excited. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. That was a great performance. I mean, thank you. I, I want to know more now. I, I mean, t tell us about yourself, please. Um, so I'm Chrissy Ashcroft from New South Wales. I'm 49. Um, been in been in the military for 13 years. <laughs> this is um, my step off into. Leaving the army, um, I have to separate from the army for medical reasons. I deployed to Afghanistan and got pretty badly injured, um, physical and mental scars. And I can't be in the army anymore, I want to be, but I can't. I have pretty bad PTSD. So the song I just sung was about my war being over. I was standing out through the doors and thought this is the start of, of showing other servicemen and women, stay strong, you can get you can get here. You yeah, just have yeah, to stay strong. Like and for everybody here in the, in the audience and also at home watching, we'd like to say thank you for what you've yeah. done for your country. Yeah. Well done. Incredible. Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you loved our compilation and let us know who some of your favorites are that we should feature in a compilation next. We'd love your feedback. While you're on YouTube, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you know each time we post a new video. Also, follow Talent Recap on all social medias. I'm talking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's a good time. Plus, head over to talentrecap.com because we have all the scoop on talent shows that you won't want to miss. <laughs> Hey y'all, if you're still here, either you're a hardcore fan or you have nothing else to do. Either ways, stick around. Now let me tell you a secret. You already know about, about our YouTube channel, because duh, you're right here. But we also have a website with millions of visitors. It's the only website exclusively dedicated to reality TV competition shows called talentrecap.com. My name is Murganka and I'm the managing editor of talentrecap.com. My job is to work with other writers to make sure that we get you all exclusive content related to talent shows. Also, inside scoop on the judges, exclusive interviews, polls, newsletters, and fun quizzes. Now, if that sounds like your kind of thing, 
come visit us at talentrecap.com. Hi, I'm Samantha, and while you're still here, let me quickly tell you about our weekly talent recap show that I am one of the hosts of. Each week, two hosts sit down and discuss our favorite moments from reality talent competition shows. Think of it as a sports after show for talent competitions. We discuss the eliminations, talk about predictions for the next week, and we also talk about some of our favorite acts. It's a fun and exciting way to vent our frustrations, but also talk about some of the most epic moments on these shows. But the best part is talking to the fans. We love reading your comments and interacting with you guys and sharing some of the same emotions towards some of the acts. It's a perfect way for a fan like me to interact with a fan like you. This video's over and I didn't expect you to still be here, but since you are, let's talk more about Talent Recap and what I do here. My name is Summer Monet and I am a host for Talent Recap What's Hot. This segment is designed to take a deeper look at our favorite contestants, favorite moments, and our favorite celebrity judges. If there's any drama or controversy, you bet that we will give you the full scoop. Let me tell you some examples. All the winners of America's Got Talent, where are they now? How much money do these judges make? All the women Simon Cowell dated. And trust me, there's a lot of them and so on. I love talking to you guys, reading your feedback and your comments, so please keep them coming. I am Summer Monet, and now you know what's hot. Oh, what are you still doing here? But wait, since you've stuck around this long, hi, I'm Kayla, and I'm the Director of Video Content here at Talent Recap. I work behind the scenes, managing our YouTube channel and editing all of our videos. At Talent Recap, we create fun and engaging videos on all of our favorite talent shows, including America's Got Talent, American Idol, The Voice, The Masked Singer, and so much more by the fans for the fans. I personally am a huge fan of these shows, but I want to know, what are some of your favorite shows? We love to get feedback from our fans, and we love talking to you guys. Now you may have seen our talent recap show, or perhaps it was Cody Lee's unforgettable audition that caught your eye. But we've got other segments that you've got to check out, like What's Hot, Talent Reactions, Top Acts, and Red Carpet Interviews. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we upload a video. I'm Samantha. I'm Summer Monet. I'm Kayla. And that, and that's, and that's, our talent recap. Hey you, stop swiping on dating apps and start swiping through Talent Recap's playlists. We've got compilations, we've got red carpet interviews, what's hot videos, and recap shows. And I think it's time we take our relationship to the next level. I'm talking hit that subscribe button right now. No, I'm totally kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. You should still subscribe so you're up to date on all of our latest content. And thanks for watching.